This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a Tesla Model S, also called Millennium Falcon. But in this video, I'm going to talk about Kia eSoul. It was that van I had, you know, but it's the same battery. It's a 64 kilowatt hour battery. And I did the Colgate test, or I just call it Colgate test, but it's a test where I fast charge a battery with cold battery to see what happens. I try to standardize it so I can do it throughout the year. So I try to start with 10 degrees Celsius. This one was close enough. So let's roll the tape and show you guys what happened there. Um, so I start with 12 degrees, at least in the min, and then 16 in the top. So maybe I should have cooled it down a little bit more, but this is the best I can do. But you see, um, initially now, you will see that uh, the water cooling temperature will rise soon, but it actually goes there, 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 there. So that means that uh, the battery heater kicks in. And then it's charging kind of slow versus the hot session. Ideally, you want to get 200 amp or close enough. Uh, but unfortunately, we were not able to get it here. And actually, there was, seemed to be a little bit limitation on the ABB charger. It's supposed to be 200 amp, and I'm getting only 195 amp from it. But okay, um, but one thing you want to see again, okay, water cooling temperature. See, it start rising, uh, kind of slow-ish, but uh, also the battery temperature will also start rising. But I also included the Model Y here as a comparison. And okay, uh, it's slightly bigger battery, but it can actually charge way faster. And because of that initial uh, jolt of speed, you can also build up heat faster. Faster. But also the Model Y has uh, the battery heater with the front and the rear power active uh, and you will see that the Model Y heats of the battery way faster than the ESOL. Um, did we hit it yet? No. Uh, one thing you will notice by the way is that once the, the battery mean temperature in the cold ESOL hits 15 degrees Celsius, look at the water cooling temperature. It's going to drop which uh, confirms what uh, some people told me that uh, uh, the ESOL only heats up the battery until 15 degrees Celsius and then it stops. Yeah, yeah, now, now it drops. So now when it drops, it means that it, it's not adding heat to the system and the heat is being slowly drained out as it passes through the battery loop and the battery slowly heats up. So at this point, the battery will only heat up passively by charging it at 53 kilowatts. But ideally, what I want to see is like Tesla, where it just runs the battery heater and pumps it up more aggressively, just like what um, also the Volvo is doing, and I guess also the Polestar. Uh, they heat up the battery to ensure that we get a good charging speed throughout the session, not only to, uh, to 15 degrees Celsius. Um, so you see right now, uh, the, the ESOL coal battery is then, okay, it's heating up, but it goes really slow because the car is being stingy. It doesn't want to waste energy heating up the battery actively. It just, just allows it passively. But I guess the cooling is probably not active right now. It's just running it to do it like this. But think about this. Um, we could have gotten way better charging speed now because something magic will happen when we, once we hit 25 degrees Celsius in a cold session. Uh, just like we have seen also in the EV6 and in the in the Ionic 5. So there's just something, I guess the Koreans, they have programmed. They, they, uh, they do it like this. And also one other thing you will notice is that the charging speeds here goes in steps unlike Tesla and also many other EVs where it's seamless. The, the hotter the battery you have, the faster you can charge or, and again, it depends on the state of charge and everything. But here, well, okay, and then this one happened. I forgot. I had a little, uh, uh, the battery, uh, the, the, the charger bugged, uh, supposedly. I'm not sure if it was a charge of the car. Uh, I asked uh, a recharge for them about this, and they claim it's the, the car that stopped it. <laughs> so it was down for a little bit, but now, now it's up and running again. But uh, come on, come on. We're going to hit 25 degrees Celsius soon. And then there, there, suddenly you see, boom, suddenly we get 74 kilowatt. Oh, hallelujah. Wonderful. Well, what about the water cooling temperature? Are we cooling down the battery now? Uh, no, no, we're not, we're not. If the water cooling temperature is rising, then we're not cooling the battery. But you can see on the hot session of the ESOL, when it stays at 11 degrees Celsius, it means that cooling was active there. And it's trying to not push the max temperature above 35 degrees Celsius. Because if you get 35 degrees in the max, then you will actually start throttling. So you can see now that the problem with the soul battery and also the the, yeah, the korean ones is that uh, in order to get the optimal temperature you need to stay within 25 to 35 degrees celsius otherwise you will throttle in one or the other direction uh, but okay um now uh, when once we hit 50 uh, it, it passed so fast now but um once the temperature uh no, no once the state of charge hits 56 percent i don't remember how, how what it was then it also throttles because the state of charge is too high 
and now, now that this is why we are not charging faster than this and also for the record yeah the, the v max here or the the maximum charging power on the korean cars are 75 kilowatt on uh, 76 kilowatt on this uh, on this generation batteries um but yeah not much to show here okay now okay, on the cold session i need to show you guys that's uh, you see now we have 12 degrees in the water cooling actually same for the cold, cold and the hot session of the esol and this indicates that it, it's running the cooling to to yeah to prevent it from cooling uh, to heat it up too much and it just stays it around there and right now yes it's um, very uh, stable the speed uh, at least on the left session leftmost session uh, this will uh, let me see uh, we will hit another breakpoint soon at 73 percent there 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 now it drops even more yeah so yeah uh, like i said uh, the korean cars they have uh, pre pre-programmed this to have certain breakpoints on the state of charge and also on the, on the on the battery but uh, in my opinion they should have more seamless uh, design like tesla because think about this uh, in the beginning when the battery is cold uh, after 15 degrees celsius it will stop the battery heater and then the only way to heat up the battery is from passively heating it up as it charges so it would actually be better to you know have uh, at, at 20 degrees or at 24 degrees you will have slightly better charging speed uh let's say you don't get okay you don't get 75 kilowatt but at least if you can get 60 65 kilowatt you will then uh, reach the this 25 degrees faster huh? don't you agree uh so then th that's actually one way to improve the charging session uh but, but for now okay not much going on um uh, to my uh, big surprise though or actually uh, maybe i wasn't that surprised but you see that um, the hot and the cold esol session is not that much different Whereas the Model Y hot and cold is bigger. Okay, the Model Y they finished charging a long time ago. But okay, um, let's see now. Once the ESO there, the hot session hit ninety uh, percent, and then the, the the cold one is at eighty three, which is not that much different, is it? And also towards the end here, it seems like uh, the two sessions are charging more or less the same. And actually, yeah, now that we have them here, uh, at least the, the hot session is frozen for now. But you can see that the stats looks very similar. We have the same battery temperature, uh, min max uh, everything um, and yeah so it seems like once the the esol uh, was able to uh, the cold session i mean once it was able to uh, recover and heat it up then it seems to follow the same path as the hot session so okay um i guess i should finish this uh soon well okay hmm. now i'm just kind of just waiting for it to see what happens once we finish it if you guys want to see the data here so i just show you Okay, we, it will finish in around 20 seconds but yeah so it, it is slower yes okay it takes longer time before it finishes but um it, it's not that bad i guess unless you need to charge to 100 <laughs> percent maybe then it can be slow uh but okay and uh, one thing I, I should mention is that it, it is actually an advantage for us to start with 10 percent on this charging session it, if you would start with let's say uh, 30 40 percent uh with cold battery then it's going to be hell because then um you might not get any battery heater action and then uh the, the battery will start charging slow because the battery is cold but then it won't get any battery heater and then it's like a, a down spiral it, it charges slow and it won't gain any heat from from active heating and then it will just charge really slow and it, it will recover way slower that's what i mean well and here you can look uh, close to the data as so you see the the esol here uh, i have a bunch of other cars here but you don't care about that one but we want to see this one so we have uh the cold gate session here we also have the cold gate session uh here yes for the model y and as yeah we also here have the one problem but look, look at this one okay so it charges kind of slow in the beginning right and then it picks up some speed but you see uh i don't remember what state of charge we were at but uh, at one point roughly at 30 percent maybe i don't remember um the battery heater stopped so then you see uh, okay uh, you can actually see that here that it started slow right but then um, it went to 55 or around 50 kilowatt uh, fairly fast but then it just stopped there like oh wait wait we are just starting here no and then you don't get any extra boost so it would actually be better if the the battery heater will run until 25 degrees celsius before it stopped because look how long it took we had to reach almost 50 percent before we hit the 74 kilowatt and then we only had for a little bit 
and then we had to throttle because uh, we at 55% uh, we reached the next throttle point. <laughs> um, but it seems like at that point, yeah, pretty much neck on neck now. Uh, once we recover and we come to this point here, roughly, yeah, then it just and actually no, even before before uh, you can see here here at 49%, yeah, that's where the two charging sessions here are just neck on neck. It's nothing different here just a slight yeah it could just be timing difference and uh, i can show more here uh, i guess i can show this graph between this is the one uh, the esol hot session and then we have the cold session so the cold session went like this and then we had a little boom the, those hard breakpoints i was talking about but then here uh, would say that maybe around here it should go the next one if the battery heater would keep going but it was being stingy so then it took forever and then you saw it a little bit and then yeah and then here you see they kind of follow each other like shadows whereas the tesla uh, okay actually goes way above it all the time but um, tesla uh, the the model y even though uh, we heated up the battery it never recovered it never uh, it ne was never ever to uh, never able to kind of got to go on the same level as the hot session and you can also see in the battery temperature that for some reason it never reaches the same temperature because you kind of need to have that one and i can show here you can show this graph we, now here we just show um this is again the same as the sr plus i showed you earlier uh, in another video but um here we also have the the battery heater and then supposedly the the esol has six kilowatt heater so we're just gonna look at the graph instead it's easier to understand um here i try to plot in the the battery heater for the esol how long it was active for only 10 11 minutes and then it's stopped whereas the tesla at least kept it for around 20 minutes before it stopped and then the temperature on the sole goes up really slow compared to uh, the model y well, would actually be interesting to toss in the the sr plus i think even the sr plus with single motor that one even heats up faster than the model y so uh, sorry, not the one, faster than the, the e sole so the e sole is just kind of being stingy and um, yeah because okay uh, I can say that with this session, at least, uh, the Model Y session, the battery heats up quick, but then at one point here, actually, it needs to start cooling down the battery. Otherwise, it will the, the graph will go like, uh, you know, like this, whoop, right? So you see, this indicates that uh, the te Tesla is controlling the temperature very precisely. Once it hits 58 degrees Celsius, then it just stays there flat and then we just maintain the nice and good charging speed towards the end whereas here it just i guess it doesn't want to heat it up too much because it knows that it will cool it down but there are some advantages with with, with this approach versus the tesla approach which i can show you here which is that now i show you the kind of the the hot and the cold sessions for different uh, what did i oh yeah this look look this looks so weird that the cold session is 12 degrees and the hot session is 26 whereas the hot for hot tesla session is 50 degrees because remember that remember that i said that the esol or the korean batteries they want to stay within 25 to 35 degrees celsius only uh, once you go beyond those levels then you have slower charging uh, but um, efficiency numbers are interesting because even a cold session we have very low losses versus uh, model y more losses uh, there I guess because they they burn more afterburners to heat up quickly and then burn also juice for uh, cooling it down but then the result of this one is that um, you charge way faster yeah and also yeah uh, one thing i haven't mentioned is that tesla keeps the temperature uh, like the temperature difference very small we're talking about plus minus half degree celsius only on the on the temperature uh so many this one this one here yeah whereas um like you guys saw it um the korean cars they can be a quite huge gap sometimes we have 10 10 12 degrees celsius between the min and the max temperature which will be kind of problematic when you want to charge fast and yeah when it comes to throttling and everything but anyway the advantage with the esol is that the efficiency is ultra high even when we are fast charging because that's something yeah okay tesla and maybe many other evs that charges fast like volvo and the polestar um it charges fast but at what cost right 
the cost of efficiency. Well, actually, no, no, I'm just not, kind of lying here, I'm tripping here because um, when we have a hot session, on the other hand, then actually the Model Y can match the ESOL. Except for that this number here, the 70 kilowatt hour, is what was reported by Tesla. I have to log into my Tesla account and then I, I pull out the logs from the supercharging session. And this one, unfortunately, was not done from the ABB or the, some of the other chargers. So I don't have the, the exact number with, uh, with decimals. So it could be 70.5 or it could be 69.5 kilowatt hour. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Whereas these other numbers here, they are exact numbers I got from the AVB charger from the screen when I unplugged. Um, but okay, so uh, not much to say there, I guess. Um, I, okay, I can mention that uh, when, I, when I look at the numbers here, true battery, uh, when it comes to the Model Y, I look at uh, the sky my Tesla and then what the car reports as the, the, the capacity. Uh, but for the ESOL, I took in account um, the percentage added, uh, and then I look at the net capacity from the from the energy I managed to pull out. But then I had to add one percent because that is what I estimated to be the loss. So yeah, I don't know if you can understand it, but so this is the best numbers I managed to uh, I, like calculate based on all all the things I know about the, these EVs. And then uh, one thing I want to show you here, okay, and this one, what is this? Yeah, this is the number of minutes it takes to reach a certain uh, percentage. And uh, for the Model Y, okay, you, you go slower-ish, uh, but it's not actually for the Model Y it's not that bad it was actually it was way worse with the Model 3 SR Plus with the LFP battery well we don't talk about that one uh, but uh, compared to the eSoul then hmm, yeah what should I say okay the the, the eSoul is slower but I guess if you want to go to 90% then it's not that much big difference uh, but it's like the uh, the slowness you have in the beginning, you kind of just keep it there. The, the, the slow session is never able to catch with a hot session. That's logic, right? <laughs> well, exact, exactly. Except for when you look at the SR Plus LFP battery, then there was like some kind of counter logic stuff going on there. But yeah, so now you guys have seen it. Um, cold versus hot battery. And I think on, uh, what I've seen here is that um, the chemistry seems to be able to take okay speed even if the battery is cold. Uh, I'm talking about the Soul one. Yeah, I just used the Model 3 as a comparison. Uh, but I feel like the Koreans could do better. They could at least keep the battery heater active until 25 degrees Celsius. It will, okay, it will be at the cost of the efficiency of the whole charging session, of course, because you have to burn more energy to heat up and then burn energy to cool it down. But from the user ex perspective experience, I think that would be better because then we will probably cut down the total charging time. Uh, and I guess if you ask the user, do you want to burn uh, 500 kilowatt, uh, no, let's, let's say 500 watt hour to one kilowatt hour extra energy for this session and then finish charging five minutes faster? People are like, hell yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what you guys think, huh? Or do, do you prefer the way uh, Kia has programmed the system or do you prefer the Tesla way? Or, okay, if I say a Tesla way, I get lots of haters, but do you prefer the Volvo and the Polestar way, for example? They, all, they also run the battery heater somewhat aggressive, I believe, to heat up the battery and then to, to ensure that we get the best charging session out there. So yes, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.